Greeting fencers, this is episode 2 of our Lichnauer Zettel series. The next verse is, He who follows the strokes should rejoice little in his art. This refers to cutting at your opponent's sword and also basic parrying. If you're just cutting at your opponent's sword, then you're not threatening your opponent, so they have no reason to touch your sword. They can change through, take off, or cut around. When practicing, make sure every cut would hit regardless of the sword being there. It's very easy in drills to start cutting at the sword. Occasionally, don't parry in order to see if the cut was aimed properly. When practicing cutting on air, make sure you're always aiming at something, whether it's on a wall or a mirror. Don't practice cutting without a target. If you're using basic parrying without the point threatening, then your opponent can keep making cuts, and action is always faster than reaction. Lichtenauer warns for basic parrying. He says, if need befalls you, it will trouble you. Instead, he said, when your opponent cuts, you cut. When he steps, you step. When he thrusts, you thrust. You should be cutting in such a way that you both defend yourself and threaten your opponent. There are times we need to accept being the reactor, but this warns of the dangers of letting your opponent be the initiator. Thanks for watching. Keep studying. Keep practicing.